My name is Frank, and this is what we did last night. Like last week, we played our Spotify playlist that we have just for this month. And, and if you haven't already followed it on Spotify, the link is below. You got to get it. It's six hours of awesome Christmas music from like every style ever. So make sure you check it out. So last night, we began the service with a five-minute countdown that I got from Youth Men Resources. Now, usually five-minute countdowns are just a countdown, and I really don't care what they do except get the students into the seats by the time the time limit was over. But this one was actually really, really good. They, they, they had these questions and they, like high-five someone who really loves Christmas or just a bunch of goofy things. You have to get it's five bucks. It's on the Youth Men Resource uh, website, and uh, it's it's. Probably Probably the best countdown I've ever had on a youth group night, if that even means anything. So make sure you check that out, Youthman Resources. I also showed a, a teaser for a longer video that I'm going to show at the winter retreat that we're going to have this year called Winter Chill. And what I did is I went to one of the students in my youth group's um, dance studio. And I recorded her dancing. And I recorded her, you know, getting ready um, for practice and things like that. And then I sat her down in her dance studio and asked her a bunch of questions about how her faith intersects with her her hobby, her dancing. And, and I showed a one-minute clip of that. You can see um, uh, it's linked here in this video. And then the full version, it's probably going to be about three to five minutes, is going to be showed at the winter retreat, which I'll, sh I'll show you guys um, sometime in January. For the funny video, I showed a video called White Elephant by Julian Smith. Julian Smith is almost always pretty clean. He's always funny. And the quality of his videos are like movie quality. So um, check him out. This video was really funny. Our kids loved it. It was about um, just a funny white elephant gift exchange experience that they had. So check it out. And then lastly, to kind of get our announcements across, I used um, Melody, the, the, the dancer girl I used in the white you know, retreat video, to, uh, to share the announcements while doing some kind of goofy dancing stuff. And so if you have a girl in your youth group that can dance or do gymnastics, you can probably replicate the same kind of video. Just tell them to do something goofy that involves their dance, their gymnastics, and then save the announcement that you need to have. Check out the video. I've attached it here. For the game last night, I ended up just walking around Walmart trying to get some ideas of inspiration of what to play. And I was walking around Walmart, and in their craft section, they had these white uh, foam balls that they actually had this like ornament thing on them to, I guess so you can create your own ornament. So anyways, I got a bunch of them, took out the ornament part, brought them in to our youth group, and we basically had a giant snowball fight. And our kids loved it. In, in Arkansas, it snows like maybe in January and February, so in December it's kind of dry. And so with this, we had our own mini snowball fight. They were super cheap at Walmart or probably at a craft store. Great idea. Just get a bunch of little white foam balls and then have them throw at each other. It's a great game. And then for our and then for our second game, I got two kids on stage to play a Christmas version of like Rock, Paper, Scissors or Gorilla Man Gun. Um, if you're not in the Youth Men uh, Facebook group, there's a link to it now. There's a, there's a, a Facebook group just for youth pastors. There's over 3,000 youth pastors from across the country that are in there sharing ideas, um, talking about youth ministry. And in there, I got this game idea um, just to bring two people on stage, do a game called Reindeer Santa Snowman. And it's kind of like rock, paper, scissors. Um, there's a graphic that someone posted in the youth men group that I used for uh, last night. So go join the group and then search that uh, Santa, reindeer, snowman, rock, paper, scissors, and I'm sure you'll find it. Plus, you just want to be in that community. It's great. Our worship team played three songs, um, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, uh, Where I Belong by Corey Asbury, and Before the Throne of God by Shane and Shane. It was a great night of worship. And to bridge the gap from the worship part to the actual part where we're going to talk about the Bible, we uh, I showed a video by... Odd Thomas, who's a rapper on Humble Beast that's in a group called Beautiful Eulogy. And, and the song and, and, the, and the, the poem he, he performed was called, um, I, I think it's called On the Incarnation or The Incarnation. And, um, and it's just a great spoken word piece that is excellent explaining about why we celebrate Advent, why we celebrate Christmas. And, and ultimately, it's about Jesus Christ, God becoming man and entering to our earth. So what I decided to do for the message this week was to kind of change it up. I really want to be intentional, getting my leaders more involved with the students' lives and, and, and making sure that the students see the leaders as almost a, a branch off of me as the youth pastor. And so what I did is, is I introduced this time where I had all the uh, um, students close their eyes and and I kind of painted some word pictures for them, uh, pretending they were in Bethlehem, that they were a shepherd, and they were one of the first people to kind of see Jesus 
um, as a, a, a human being, as, as, as a baby. And so I kind of, kind of paint this picture. It's cold. You're a shepherd. You walk up. You see a baby crying. And this is the promised Messiah that you've read about in all the prophecies in the Old Testament. You kind of have the privilege to see the Savior's first moments of life. And as you sit there, kind of just like in awe of this experience in this moment, you kind of let your mind wander and think, I wonder what people 2,000 years from now are going to think about this moment. And, and we pretended that we were kind of going to a time travel thing and going to the future. And, and we walked around our city and all we saw were sales and deals and consumerism and stuff and money and debt. And, and we talked about how can this amazing moment 2,000 years ago that's about our Savior end up being a season about shopping, and so what we did is we broke it into small groups, and I gave our leaders a bunch of different questions to ask the students. What, how could Christmas be different this year? What could we do to make Christmas about Jesus? And what are you personally going to do as a student to not make this about yourself and about getting stuff, but personally about making it about our Savior, Jesus Christ? And that kind of goes perfectly with our theme this uh, December with Advent and just kind of realigning our hearts towards Christ and making it about Jesus, not about ourselves. So a little final idea here. A lot of you guys have been um, messaging me with good feedback about these videos and, and giving me some ideas of what you want to see in these videos and one question I keep getting asked often is where do I get my videos from because I show like three or four videos every service um, obviously <laughs> it's YouTube and, and Vimeo right but um, but one thing I wanted I, I've done for youth pastors that's been out for over a year now is I started a website called videos for student ministry and it's a part of youthmen.org youthmen resources and and basically what it is it's it's a it's a site so that you don't have to spend hours on YouTube trying to find that perfect video for your youth group. Uh, you go to videosforstudentministry.com, use a search bar, or just browse um, the different kinds of videos there are, and there you can find the video you can show in your youth group. Um, I try to update it weekly, and if you see videos that you love that aren't on the website, there's an option for you to submit a video, and I'll even give you a shout out on Twitter for submitting it. So check out videosforstudentministry.com. I, even though I create it, I use it weekly to try to find videos that I've posted on there that I haven't used in my ministry yet. So I love the site. Um, I use it as a resource for myself, but hopefully it's a resource for you guys as well. Thanks. See you next Thursday. God bless.